Welcome back to Broad League Heroes. Ish, ish, Battle League's here. But let me introduce the Red Terran with a very creative start to the game here. Two bunkers and a command center. So really going all out. It's the amazing Mr. G. And on the other side, without a care in the world of whether it makes any sense, I give you Psychophobe, who has both players have walled off. Let's see how well that does for them. The first two Reapers come in. We're three and a half minutes in, which is a solid minute later than your average Reaper timing. But that might be why the amazing Mr. G was unprepared. The SCVs are pulled. Unfortunately, the Marines are stuck on the outside. All right, SCVs. Oh, wait, one Reaper. Nope, somehow. Okay, here we go. And a beautiful grenade. Okay, and now we wait. The SCVs forming a body block to wall off the Reaper cliff. Okay, um... Alright, well, one of them citizens arrest finally gets taken down. The Reaper getting chased. Psychopho banking up 1,200 minerals, but of course, these Reapers are his li- Oh, well... Finally gets taken down, but Psychophobe is ready to spend these 1,300 minerals back at home. Command Center gonna head out to towards... We'll call it the natural here. Meanwhile, Psychophobe. Um, going with the combat shield. He's got plus one on his engineering bay. Reactor factory. He's also got a bunker in position to deal with this. Gonna, gonna get another command center here. And, of course, queue up the turrets. Because if this command center flies across and lands, then he may be able to make a planetary. And since every Metal League player knows, um, based on one of the top five Dutch content creators, uh, planetary rushes are very strong, then he's going to be well defended against it. Psychophobe, though. Three Reapers going to keep an eye on his opponent. Gonna try to slip by them. Unfortunately, the Marines react quickly and automatically. Psychophobe with one, two, three, four command centers here. And and I'll, I'll cheat a little bit. I know this is a Metal League match. I believe approximately gold. We did have a bit of a discussion earlier about whether this was the new patch. Um, of course, Ravens and Sensor Towers were discussed. But we're going to go ahead. Jimmy, can we get the, uh, the, give me the 4X, please. No, 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 not Stellaris. Um, instead, the fast forward. As I have it on good authority, a.k.a. by looking at the info beforehand, that this game is not short and does not end abruptly. Widowmines exist, much to the dismay. For once... The Terrans have to deal with them. Couple more Widow Mines, though, from Psychophobe. Another scan, but the Widow Mines unfortunately walked into the Marines that were still there. Nice to see Widow Mines get used against the Terrans for once. Amazing Mr. G still building up. Both players putting together uh, units, which is important. And as we get to the 10 minute mark, can you slow it down for me, Jimmy? Thank you. Thank you. Ah, the scan. Those are indeed. The Vendaya scan confirms indeed those are Marines. But a scan, a return scan from Mr. G. Oh, no, it was on regular speed. I just, it was just how the units were moving that made me think it was slow. The standoff continues. Marines. Man in the front lines. Widow mines and siege tanks, though. Getting the brunt of the damage done. Another tank. A Marine's wandering forward. There's still some Widow Mines on the back. He gets one tank. The other gonna rack up the kills. The counter tank. Still damage. More shots. At the end of the day, though, the supply is dead even. Amazing Mr. G gonna fall back. He did have a 1 1 upgrade advantage. Of course, Widow Mines don't care about your silly upgrades. 
uh, as they do spell damage. Uh, the TPM looking very solid here from Psychophobe. Who continues his widow mine um, creep spread here. Waddling forward. Four, five, six more wrecks being added for Mr. G, who... In all its glory. In all its glory, yes. Psychophobe confirms, indeed, that there will be Marines. I think he's going to be confident in making that call after scanning six more barracks very diligently. Yep. Those are those are still Marines and tanks walking right into the minefield. Two shots slam the point home. There couldn't be more. But wait, there is another hit. The counter scan. We don't mind. Not quite in time to block the base. Another. Oh, the mine will fire, though. Thankfully, not quite enough. There's still widow mines dotting the field. But Mr. G has decided with his red army, the war of attrition is the one he, d he is going to fight. Jimmy, let's uh, skip the macro phase here for a moment. The APMs, most of them going into... No, 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 I'm sorry. Can we get... I, sometimes we speed past these very important moments. Can we Can we use that? I, I've been a proponent of not just adding... Uh, oh, yeah. Where is our scan? Yep. Unleashes the volley. He finds the Widow Mines. Unfortunately, oh well, another scan. He will still take the hits, but the scan will confirm. Not only did he have enough scans, but uh, he was very willing to... Yep, okay. I mean, the, the Widow Mines are very dangerous creatures. They create a lot of, a lot of stress um, and obviously must be prepared for. So that is why it's very important to always have energy. Somehow he has an orbital with 200 energy still. Very impressive. Got a sensor tower on the way. Gonna make... Okay. All right. And then... I'm not sure where the other scan went. I heard two, but... Wow. The SCV is trapped in uh, a prison of its own design back here for Mr. D. He was making 16 Marines at a time, I might add. Psychophobe with some money in the bank, though, does have quite an entrenched position and has established himself on most of his map. Here comes a mind drop. Looks like Mr. G gonna be the one regretting his lack of uh, a turret ring here. Boost in. All right. <laughs> and with barely any delay, well, fortunately, the, the SCV's stacked up there. Because, uh, of course, the splash damage does not one-shot them. Unless you put a lot of effort into it. So, the Widow Mines. This is all scouted by the, the Watchtower here. The Marines are headed back. Wait, these sensor towers are the amazing Mr. G's. But he's just... Okay, th now this scan is for... Oh my! Uh, okay. Yep. I wish I wish it was played on the, the, the professional overlay so we could see the scans of the minimap. But it's almost better that we can't, I think. Well, the army has 87 marines and 5 tanks. Almost uh, the unstoppable force, but... Oh, yep, apparently the scan was an important part. Oh, yep, that's... There are the siege tanks. Oh, but... Everyone knows where everyone is now. Oh, he unsieges. And, yeah, tell your friends, there's still an SCV, and he just leaves it to burn. Wow, what a guy. There's a scan. The whole army is walking in here. It burns. The entire army stims. Those medevacs are not hyped about it. The scan on top of himself. But the Widowmine still can The tank scan. Ventroya scan. I don't, I don't even know where he's getting the energy. He's only on four orbitals, right? Yeah. 
How do you even have this much energy? I don't... Counter scan. Some more Widow Mines. Been traumatized by those Widow Mines. A little bit of a taste of his own Terran medicine here. Everything on the high ground, but the Marines are gonna... Marines and Marauders are gonna slip by. Smart servos on the way for Psychophobe. Oh, but he didn't scan this side of the Widow Mines! They're gonna do terrible, terrible damage! Throwing some bunkers down. The Marauders come up. And the Widow Mines are... Well, it looks like the bunkers might actually finish, but... Everything else. Meanwhile, Psychophobe's counterattack got obliterated. By really anything. Scan. Scan. And uh, there really should be a different noise for each player's scans, at the very least. Okay, well, the Widow Mines are coming up. Who could have expected that army there? The bunker completes. The Widow Mines have recharged. And will fire yet again. Going into the siege tanks. Another stim. Mines on the high ground. That's a planetary. I don't know what he would, could scan that would stop him from stimming and A-moving. It's more of a matter of principle at this point. A single SCV repairing might be enough to hold the line as the field runs red. The, the, the clear sands of Stargazer are stained with the blood of dozens of Marines. 192 so far. At least the bunker finished. Well, uh, unfortunately, Widowmines. Oh my god, the bunker cannot see the Marauders on the other side. And that means the Marauders are going to take it out. And then they'll pop out. Oh, anti-armor missile. Those are, yeah, those Marauders feeling very uncomfortable right now. A Raven comes out. A Raven, the passive counter to Widowmines. I'm sure it will survive for long enough to be effective in its role. Meanwhile... That the mule is dropped to repair the turret and is successful. The raven, oh no, scans, scans! Forward scans, more scans! So many scans, more scans than your body could handle! Oh, no, the marines continue trickling in. Uh, there's still three tanks out here. Psychophobe, more scans! I don't know who's scanning! Oh, uh, the auto turret, or the regular turret, not the auto turret, because the regular turret took out the raven. The second raven took a lot of damage, didn't go down. Another planetary, the natural counter of the marine. Oh my. There's another scan. I don't know what he expected. There, no repair here. Psychophobe will lose the planetary. Auto turret, raven did go down, stimming in. A lot of scanning, but still, very brave Marines, which is definitely a way to phrase it. Drilling Claw's done. Scan. Direct hit. Widow Mine connects. The Marine death toll is now at 243. And with no end in sight, as he continues producing 16 at a time. Wandering home with the Metamax. Looks like one will escape, just barely. Still a siege tank over here. Yep, that's still a siege tank. Confirmed by Psychophobe. Scan. I I have no idea. Um. Uh, okay. Every Marine stims, but what are the upgrades? Psychophobe is plus three, plus one. Amazing Mr. G only has plus one, plus one for his Marines. Armory, well, he does have an armory, so it makes it even more concerning, but that does put Psychophobe at something of an upgrade advantage because he also has one, one for his siege tanks. All right, the Marine's still there, but that means he can move the Widow Mines up. The Widow Mines, the dip. Widow Mines move forward ambitiously. We'll get one connection. Marines do not outrange mines. So, impo surprisingly important to note here. Siege tanks can. <laughs> I'll use careful phrasing. Oh no, amazing Mr. G is consulting the strategy guide with the counter to Terran units. 
and he's unhappy when it comes up with you're also Terran bro. A scan. Oh, he finds the base. And two ba- a viking! Ready to pillage. Meanwhile, the marines stim in. The widow mines will connect. But the siege tanks of the high ground obliterating the front line. But is there enough to break through the scans? Ah, uh, well, some of the marines are isolated. A viking on the ground, also an SCV here. The planetary's finishing. More marines. Widow mines recharge. Multiple tanks on the back line. Flanked by the turrets. Uh, there is high sack auto tracking, though no Neil Steel armor yet. Scans, scans, counter scans, more scans, some more scans, scans. <laughs> ah yes. The scans will continue until morale improves. Well, the Marines stim in. A little late on the scan. More Marines! From every angle! Yes, the Widow Mines will die, but at what cost? The tanks on the back line. Still just 1-1. One, one. He continues forward. The Marauders target fire the tank through the Marine lines. The blood is, is saturating the field. And we're up to 379. That's the marine death toll. Scan. Scan. More tanks. Widow mines continue to connect. He finally gets them. More scans. We're fucked, crew. Command is drunk again. Jesus, we're dying here! He's off the mouse, you dope! Nein! Nein! Not like this! Thankfully, no matter how many times you scan, that doesn't cause you to see. Otherwise, this game would not be nearly as incredibly close as it's been. As half a, a full volley of scans. He sees the army moving. The reaction is, uh, well, the counter scans. Another scan. Yeah, he's uh, gonna be able to outmaneuver him. Two more planetaries on the way to try to cover every flank here. Plus three Marauder and Marines, though, might be enough to deal with this if there's no repair. He stims. Gonna get at least one of them. Widow mines continue to connect on the Vikings. A scan. That's not where the widow mines were. Siege tanks still exist. Scanning forward. There are turrets there. One of the planetary is down, but the other two will hold for now. We're going to start the siege. The mineral wall may be the most devastating counter to this army. More widow mines. Uh, if it ain't broke. Don't try to fix it. High sec auto tracking and plus two infantry weapons on the way here. Oh, the widow mines will aggressively move into range. Well, oh, he won't. Well, well, vengeance for the. Oh my god! Oh, made it into a fight. As he already had pressed the stim button, might as well see how far it gets you. Well, about yay far. 464 is the number. The Marines ask, Commander, what's ahead? The Commander says, don't worry, I scanned. The Marines ask, what did you see? And the Commander says, just go for it as another counter scan volley strikes across. The forward command center, the orbital count is surprisingly low. Six to three, scan. I may have to check 
Jimmy, can we check? I am going to, um, at the end of this game, how many abilities were used. There is a way to see it. I'm looking for it, since we do have a moment here. Uh, oh yes. The amazing, I, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Or tell you how long. Ah, the counter to Liberator's turret's on the way. The amazing Mr. G uses 87 scanner sweeps. Which it feels like we've already passed that count. Whereas Psychophobe uses only... Well, he uses 95. So... Are we there yet? I don't know. Can you tell how long the game will take by that? Meanwhile, the Liberator's playing whack-a-mole with the turret SCVs. They can't kill buildings. And finally, with only half a dozen SCVs used, a turret completes. Another one outflanking. Here come the Marines. Scans. I'm not sure where, the, where or who used it. Another scan. Okay. Yep, those are siege tanks. Planetary on the way. Forward planetary. A Liberator has five kills. I've just been hanging out over here. We missed so much action. Another scan. Siege tanks in range. Liberator will be dealt with. More tanks. Quite a concave here. More the, vent, uh, the counter scans. Tanks moving forward. Widow mines will connect. 2-2 two, two versus 3-1 on the upgrades, but... There are... Okay, well... Well, I... He'll get the... He'll get... He'll get a couple of the tanks. 529. Oh my. Oh, he's... Oh, yes. Just get close enough. 552. Mr. G is taking micro your macro to a whole new level. He is, a, well, a lower one. He's at 82 supply. Against 192 of Psychophobe, who has managed to hold on. Not that his opponent has made it particularly difficult, utilizing a relatively low variety of strategies. The scan missed the tanks that were actually firing at the other tanks. He shot too far forward with the scan, a classic mistake. Moves up to the high ground, though. Gonna need a scan. Surprisingly out of energy. Strikes back. But where's the counter scan? Oh, he gets him! Oh, but now it's his turn to stim in. And in fact, he's gonna get most of the tanks right off the bat. Uh, actually, a pretty solid timing for Stim there, for Psychophobe. Who's still under 100 Marine losses. Though he's lost 52 Widow Mines. So, how about Minerals Mined? Um, 55 to 46,000. So... Overall, Mr. G has managed to mine more. He's also lost 18,000 more minerals, which is several. <laughs> ah, yes, he's going to pick up into the Metavax, most of which have full HP. But Psychophobe scanned it, believe it or not, and actually looked at what he was... Unfortunately, the Widow Mines exist. Down goes a medevac with all hands. Don't worry, though. There's only... Okay, well... Ah, big game drops out. And... But the boys are pulled. Ah, well... Who could have expected this? The SCVs... Are enough. The Liberators staring down the planetary, almost level with its face, but neither of them can hit each other. Tanks. 
Oh, he right clicked on the planetary, unfortunately. Yeah, he's gonna. He scans. Unfortunately, though, the tank was, uh. Oh, well, here's some. He stims in. The planetary finally getting some. Uh. He, oh. Uh. Marines! Uh, scan? No scan, actually. I take it back. Liberator's getting a lot of damage here. The planetary's still taking damage. Target's down the tank, though. Widowmine takes out the, the medevac. The planetary's burning. Looks like he'll get it. The tug of war continues. Backline tank. Those are 3 2 Marine Marauder. Goes back in. The Liberator racking up the kills. May eventually die. Medivac's out of energy. What a duel. Oh, Micro's away. Picks up and saves everyone he could. We have. A fusion core for the amazing Mr. G for the obvious uh, I, ba battle cruiser. I get he has no upgrades, from that, but it's about the uh, ah. He realizes ship weapon scan, though not that much left to mine for him. I don't think he's been mining that much gas. Yeah, a thousand, a thousand. In fact, most of his bases still have plenty of gas as he has a religious exemption to putting more than one in each gas geyser. Which has... Oh, some of those SCVs saved for a rainy day. He's gonna unload them and head anywhere else. No, wait. At a... <laughs> that is definitely a command center. Confirmed by Psychophobe. 100%. Another scam. SCV's bringing some gold minerals just to show everyone how cool they are. The Marines wander into the range a little. You're gonna try to cover it with a Liberator. More Marines. Should be enough. Well, getting a little awkward here. Trying to... The, the marines are heading back towards the main, which means these SCVs are going to have some trouble. Uh-oh. Oh, the, the micro! Ah. He's going to go back to the other side. The liberator. The most important thing in the world right now. Let's go to the, the psychophobe action cam here. Queuing up, up for those SCVs. All right. Well... Ah, yes. Clearly, when he gets countered by, by Marines that hard, he goes with the clearest response, which is to build a bunch of turrets in the back of his main base. Oh, he saw a fu Oh my god, he's more of a genius than I am. He saw the fusion core. He is preemptively defending against tactical jump, which can literally be anywhere on the map. He's trying to defend against a unit, against infinite scans and a global teleport. Here's the thing. It may very well work. Because the percentage of players who will look before they jump is uncomfortably low compared to the amount of players who are just willing to jump no matter what they see. And so far, Mr. G has shown a whole lot of looking but not seeing. Because as he... Well, he, he's building up the battle cruiser count. We don't mind scattered throughout. There's advanced ballistics now. And Psychophobe realizes his opponent has chosen the battle cruiser tech route. So he must choose the other units. The widow mines. Yep. Those are widow mines. Yep. Those are battle cruisers. Confirmed. Both sides. Taking a look. The tanks here. Still battle cruisers. Counter scan. Nothing. Single battle cruiser. Yep, those are widow mines. Takes a hit, but we'll be able to clean this up finally. These widow mines have 
and quite a thorn in his side. Another, I think he was lining up for the Yamato. Technically can outrange it. But here comes the tank line from Psychopho. The Vikings on the chase. He's got rapid reignition thrusters on the way for his non-existent meta. Oh, he has a few. Oh, the Vikings. The Micro. Micro. He might get one. Yamato is not done yet. Oh, he targeted the... the uh, Yamato's done now. The cannons are online. Well, these rocks are the biggest annoyance, though. Things have slowed down as both players realize that they are capable of mining out. The Viking Micro. One volley. Plus one ship. It's a 1-1 one, one for Mr. G and just plus one armor. Oh no, the Widow Mine against the Battle Cruiser. He jumps! Confirming he knows how. Alright, wandering into the tanks. The Viking Micro. Good here from Psychophobe. Keeping himself safe, trying to bait those marines in. Alright, Psychophobe with some money in the bank. He did give up the gold base. Which is now mined out. Actually, most of the bases are mined out. It's at this time we must mention the technical way to kill someone in StarCraft. Uh, the technical win is to eliminate all of your opponent's buildings. Uh, rarely does this become particularly relevant, but here, uh, in Bronze League or close to it, Heroes, it is probably the highest percentage uh, of the time, at least, as the Vikings will chase, but Yamato counter-strike. Loses one battlecruiser, but several Vikings gonna go down here. Trying to micro back with the Marines. Oh, might be able to target down one last battlecruiser. Scan. Scanning forward. There's still that Marauder that's been at the Watchtower the whole time. Counter scan. How many minerals are left? Just this base. And a couple in the corner. There are only maybe a thousand. Yeah, there's like two thousand minerals left. Tops. For Mr. G. He's got 2,000 in the bank, and he's not maxed out. Psychophobe has a bit more of a bank. And by a bit more, I mean about 8,000 minerals more. The scan. Scan. Scan! 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 Well. He's seen everything. I believe he scanned. Oh my god. The counter scan! No, please stop. He did scan the turret defense here in the main <laughs> as well. Ah, oh, here we are. After 40 minutes, things have slowed down dramatically. After 600 dead marines. Mr. G has realized that his money can and will run out. No. I'm not. I can't anymore. My energy is waning, and it doesn't get replenished nearly as quickly. All right, everybody is piling into the center here. Oh no, the Marines! And the battle cruiser. <laughs> Mr. G will give up the center position. Oh, he goes for the medevac. Oh no, he jumps behind him. He scans into the jump, but the Vikings are right over here. Where's the Yamato? Oh, no. He actually had the jump. 
Unfortunately, he didn't line up the Yamatas. He scanned to see where he was landing. And now he's kind of wandering back into the same spot. He's gonna lose one of the battle cruisers. These things are very expensive. Most of them do have Yamato off cooldown. Psychophobe at 12k minerals. And still has a, a couple thousand more to mine. We're, these are the last mineral patches here for Mr. G. At some point, he will no longer be able to repair. 130 army supply apiece. Psychophobe sees the base. Sees that Mr. G has broken his game-long rule of only having one in gas. I... Okay. He's walking the scans across the map. Kind of telegraphing his path a little. I... I <laughs> Follow the scans. Yamato cannon against the, the little mines. Oh, no. Doesn't quite kill a turret. Close enough, though. Yep. Yeah. Vikings coming down to engage. Fortunately, not as many Yamatos as he once had. Baiting into more mines and turrets. The mines hit home. Splash damage is good. There's not that many Vikings left, though. Even a couple more Yamatos. He can't quite line them up, though. Those Vikings slip away too quickly. He's struggling. Many of them do have Yamatos up. You can tell with the little center cannon. The armor is good, but... Mr. G is struggling. But he's got more Marines, more Yamatos. Static targets are the only thing he's able to aim at. There's a Liberator here. Oh god, he's repairing. The Marines are dragged into this. He's target firing the planetary while the turrets hit him on the back line. The Vikings are not being okay. He starts microing again. The Marines are like, why are we here? The Viking micro. Six hundred and sixty-two Marines. Oh, uh, but there'll be enough to deal with the Vikings. Psychophobe can build approximately 50 more Vikings, though. He jumped! All the way home. Mr. G has no more minerals. He's gonna run out of minerals repairing. Oh, no. I think we are at the realistic scenario of Mr. G can no longer win the game. He can still lose. That much is, is clear. He may... Yeah, he can still definitely lose. But there's simply too much anti-air for the battlecruisers to win the game. I guess with Yamato. The only minerals left are the 80 on the ramp. And I get and and this corner base has a few hundred more. Well. The battle cruisers. Marines are not a great counter to them. They may be great enough though. As the turrets are getting involved. Mr. G is at zero minerals. And this may very well end. A bit anticlimactically after hundreds of marines. It looked like Mr. G had the battlecruiser switched down, but... Was not quite able to maneuver them into position. A Vikings. There's some random... 
The SCV has found some minerals. He's going for the minerals. He's got the psychophobe has nine thousand and one to his name. Well, I guess this is technically mining. Now, will he mine even enough to repair a single battle cruiser? Uh, that remains in doubt. There's still gas, but you can't do anything with gas without minerals. So. It is kind of a requirement. But long distance mining is happening. But if Mr. G didn't pull it off with 200 supply, I'm hard pressed to see him six. Oh my. He finds the army. The Vikings. Walk the scans in. And the battle cruisers in what could be the last fight. Microwing back. The Marines looking to engage, but not even really. He jumps. There's our. There, he jumps to the main. I'm not entirely sure what he means to accomplish. This seems more like he's just upset than anything else. The depots. He may supply block his opponent, but I'm one. I don't think he will. And two. I'm not sure that's going to help. Now he has to cut his way out of the base, but the Vikings have arrived. They've split their damage evenly. The battle cruisers die. And with it, hope. Well, that was certainly an ending. Psychophobe kills 679 marines. Exactly 800 marines die in this game. 20,000 more resources. 20,000 more minerals, but about the same amount of gas. And it ends. Well, 69 widow mines. At the end of the day, I think... A bit of a uh, sad end, but such a dramatic battle. I hope you think so as well. Like, subscribe, check out this video Jimmy picked out for you, not them. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed Bronze League Heroes. See you next time. Stay tuned.